Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to take a look at some of the variations and changes made to the Singer 99 during its long production run. This list is not exhaustive, and if you know of any variations that I haven't mentioned, please let me know in the comments section below. The Singer 99 was introduced over a hundred years ago, and changed relatively little over fifty or so years. Like Henry Ford's famous Model T, you could have a Singer 99 in any colour you wanted, as long as it was black. Introduced in 1911, the machine barely changed until the 1950s. We're going to differentiate between these as early machines and late machines. Early machines had the filigree design decals, while the later machines had a decal set known as the I. The 99 never had elaborate decals like some of the other machines. The tension assembly of early machines had no numbers or markings to indicate how much or how little tension was applied while later machines got the familiar numbered tension dial. Also, early machines had a simple stitch length screw, again with no markings and no back tack facility. Later machines gained a stitch length lever, proudly displaying the fact that it had a back tack function. While another variation on this style had an indicator pointing to the stitch length selected. Early machines had a complex bobbin winder, that used gears and cams to guide the thread across the bobbin to ensure even winding. My guess is that this was overkill, as later machines had a much simpler bobbin winder that worked just as well. Early machines had a delicate and elaborately patterned faceplate, while later 99s had a simple striated plate. Variations in the early machines were uncommon. For a while, some markets were offered a matte black crinkle, or Godzilla finish as it became known with simplified decals. For a time, some Singer sewing machines had the bright plating replaced with black side parts. These were either chemically blacked metals, or painted, as in the case of this plain black face plate and hand wheel on this 99K. While we're on the subject of hand wheels, some motorised versions of the 99 got a spoked hand wheel, as used on hand crank machines, while others were furnished with solid hand wheels. There was one particular model of the 99, the 9910, which was made of aluminium instead of cast iron, and was much lighter than the ordinary machines. These can be identified by the small attention assembly, which is not interchangeable with other models, and that the serial number plate is silver, rather than the standard brass colour. These are rare and sought after machines. In the last few years of the 99's production run, there were numerous small changes, probably cost-cutting exercises to enable Singer to stay competitive against the cheaper imports from the Far East. Among these were the serial number disappearing from the bed of the machine and being stamped into the underside. A hole appeared on the back under the motor. This was possibly so that machines could be used in a cabinet or table, but I'm not sure. If you know the reason for this, please let me know in the comments section. Some machines had the power lead and foot pedal hardwired to the motor, saving a small cost in a plug and socket. This machine has no hinge pins holding it into the base. Instead, a large screw goes through the bottom of the case and into the machine itself to hold it in place. This makes oiling the underside of the machine inconvenient, and it can only be a cost saving measure. There was a stripped down version of the 99 called the Spartan. This machine, although electrically powered, did not come with a light. Early machines usually came in a bentwood case, while the sturdy, sliding suitcase style carry cases was also available. Later machines seemed to come in a wide variety of cases. The two-tone vinyl and cloth case was a more upmarket option, while cases made from particle board covered in a thin vinyl was a cheaper option. At the bottom of the pile were these cases, which were basically made from thick cardboard, similar to what was used on old suitcases in the 50s and 60s. If you know of any other variations of the Singer 99, please let me know in the comments below. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and may have found this to be of some use. If you have, 
please give it a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of all my future uploads. Thanks for watching.